We counted them down every week. Now here are the top 30 Muhlenberg plays of the year. At number 30, Annie Filler won the McDaniel Fall Invitational and earned all Centennial Conference honors. At number 29, Jamie Pasilia won the Paul Short Run out of 303 runners en route to qualifying for the NCAA Championships. At number 28, Scotty Wood Tournament MVPs, Chelsea Gary with her scoring, rebounding, and blocked shots, and John Schreer with his three-pointers. At number 27, what's in the name? Brad D'Alessandro shows off the moves to score a goal against Lebanon Valley, and Marissa D'Alessandro shows off the reflexes to stop a goal against Wilkes. At number 26 in men's tennis, Mickey Schindler with the nice return for the winner in doubles against Lafayette. At number 25, it's Matt Rebusil with a walk-off single to give the baseball team a 6-5 win against Penn College at Diamond Nation. At number 24, not only was Elizabeth Garrison Class of 2017 valedictorian, she also broke the volleyball team record for most digs in a season. At number 23, grapple at the Garden, Jake Gordon scores a last-second takedown to defeat his opponent from Oswego State 7-6. At number 22, great glove work on the diamond for the baseball team, Thomas Yeo, Matt Rebusil, Will Rankin, and Sam Arnold. And one for the softball team as Christina Qualbin turns the unassisted double play. At number 21, a pair of freshmen scoring goals for the soccer teams. First at Centennial Conference Rookie of the Year, Casera Morales from the center line against Scranton. And for the men, it's Pete Luther with this one-time side volley for a goal against Swarthmore. At number 20, in just two full seasons, Brandy Vowley became the Muhlenberg women's basketball all-time assist leader with 460 for her career. At number 19, on the softball team's spring break trip to Florida, Sarah Merlo lays down a bunt and it winds up becoming a three-run homer when Fredonia throws the ball away and Merlo is able to circle the bases. At number 18, Ian Simon shot a school record low 68 at the Muhlenberg Invitational. He had another round of 69, and he also set a school record for lowest stroke average on the season at 75.3. At number 17, Anthony Ware set the school record in the 60 meters and won the Centennial Conference gold medal indoors. Michelle Gaykowski did the same thing in the discus outdoors, and we'll clap for that. At number 16, Gennaro Sermonara earned a third place finish at 197 at the Centennial Conference Championships with one of his school record tying 15 pins on the season. At number 15, the baseball team playing at Coca-Cola Park, the home of the AAA Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, Robbie Hopes and Billy Brittingham both hit home runs. It's outta here. At number 14, Frankie Feaster won 165 faceoffs and scored 20 goals in his freshman lacrosse season. Look what happens when a Moravian player tries to get in his way. At number 13, this kill by Maggie and Esfet gave the volleyball team a 3-0 sweep against Franklin and Marshall in the first round of the Centennial Conference playoffs. At number 12, Centennial Conference Player of the Year Nick Palladino set almost every school passing record, including most touchdown passes in a season and a career. And against Gettysburg, he also caught a touchdown pass from Sean Robbins on this trick play. At number 11, Jake Waleski reaches across the finish line with the baton to give the 4x200 relay team a silver medal at the Centennial Conference Championships. One going forward by Boyle, sends it in front, a good pass, Smith's out of her net, a shot, and a goal for the Mules! Shot taken, Smith with the save in front, on the ground, and it sneaks in! And another goal for the Mules! And your 2016 ECAC champions are the Muhlenberg College Mules! That was the field hockey team kicking off the top 10 with their ECAC championship at number 10. And at number 9, a bunch of dunks from the men's basketball team, Brandon LaRose, Eric Wareheim, and John Hunter. The best dunk of the year by far? It's Wareheim's off this alley pass from Nick Rindock at Washington. Nick Savant scored 18 touchdowns, including a school record 5 in one game, but it was this non-scoring run that comes in as a number 8 play of the year. It is Savant into the secondary. Savant breaking through tacklers and carrying half the Moravian defense. He's still on his feet to the 10. What an effort by Savant. At number seven, Jordi Bonvini became the first All-American in Muhlenberg women's lacrosse history after setting a school and centennial conference record for draw controls and scoring 63 goals, including this one against Dickinson. 
At number six, the distance medley relay team of Corey Mullins, Mike Bissett, Anthony Calantoni, and Jared Flank earned All-America honors by finishing seventh at the NCAA Championships. At number five, a pair of All-America performers for the 9-2 football team. At kick returner, it's Nick Lamb. And at offensive tackle, it was Willie Britt earning first-team All-America honors. At number four, it's number four, Rachel Stroh, who scored a goal in the first 11 games of the season for the field hockey team and went on to be named Centennial Conference Player of the Year and a first-team All-American. Number three is for a runner who starred in all three seasons. Jared Flank was an All-American in cross country, a two-time All-American in indoor track, and an NCAA qualifier in the steeplechase in outdoor track. At number two, women's lacrosse scored the biggest win in program history, defeating Gettysburg at home 8-7. Gettysburg came into the game ranked number one in Division Three. It was the Mules' first win ever against a number one team. The Mules went on to tie a school record with 13 wins and earn a spot in the national rankings. And what happened to Gettysburg? Gettysburg went on to win the national championship. And our number one play of the year, Muhlenberg defeated Gettysburg in the Centennial Conference Women's Basketball Championship game to win its third straight Centennial Conference title. The Mules are the first team in league history to three-peat, and the title was also their 10th overall tops in league history. Muhlenberg Conference Champions for the third straight year. They are the class of this conference. The dominant program, the one that has owned it. And that's it, the top 30 plays of the 2016-17 year in Muhlenberg College Athletics. We'll be back in September with the first great plays of the 2017-18 year. Until then, have a great summer, and go Mules!